Good flip fan. How you doing? Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> ah. It's early. I don't want to go to work, but what the heck. You got to do what you got to do, right? So, thinking about the origin. If I take the story of Big Bang or creation. To me, it's all an expression of sound. Whether it be God said, let there be light, or the Big Bang itself, big explosion, or more, the old Fetic kind of oh you know the starting sound and for all that you need energy and you need material otherwise you cannot have sound waves you know so looking into what they think spaces uh, it has to do a lot with plasma I can find plasma like everywhere in research papers so that opens up a whole new thing to me like plasma is like the materialization of energy. I don't know if I can yeah, simplify it as that, but to me, you know, like piezoelectric force, you get a nice blue stinging needle thing, or electricity, you know, you see those plasma arcs on a Tesla coil. The material is already there. You, you, you see what I'm saying? And then it get activated or pushed in a certain way to materialize. Uh, to, you know, get into a shape or form we can understand and detect with our senses. I think prior to that we don't detect it. We are not equipped with the materials and the senses to detect. I don't know if it's making any sense to anyone but you cannot have a Big Bang without something. You cannot have let there be light without a medium to reverberate in. You cannot have ohm to reverberate in nothingness. So there's something, but we have yet to figure out how to see that. Would it be the fifth state? of matter would it be the non animated state of manner, uh, matter you know as in we define matter in positive negative and neutral Maybe it's all neutral and the animation is the positive and the negative. I, uh, trying to figure that one out, yeah, you know. But a lot of people just jump to one or two conclusions. Then, yeah, you know, that must be it. And I think, yeah, you know, can work. But 
don't fix yourself upon it uh, there's still loads of questions whether you're scientific or religious or philosophical it only brings more questions like how deep can you go into the beginning because at some point you end up with just assumptions if I take the material world with what I just said you know you got positive negative and the neutral where the neutral is the non-animated the stable you know if everything was at first neutral and the reverberation of sound is that what puts it into a certain state positive and negative and it opens up a whole can of worms because how does a neutral thing change like that anyway I'm still asleep I guess <laughs> sleepwalking into another minefield of the mind anyway I hope you have fun today and love you all and see you soon hope so have fun <laughs>